Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Young, and today we're going to talk about Nasara, specifically the Great Awakening versus the Great Reset. Coming right up. So I, I get this question quite a bit. You know, there's, there are a few places that use this thing called the word great. And as soon as you hear a phraseology, okay, if I said the Philadelphia, now if we know about football, we know we're talking about the football team, we would say Philadelphia Eagles, right? If you didn't know anything about football, eh, you're in trouble there at that point. But you, you have this ability to know this. It's called a contextual clue. As an audiologist and as a person who's, who's written books and has got a degree in English, one of the things we can think about is phraseology and how it works. Let me just kind of uh, just give you a little non sequitur statement here. So if I was to say to you, blank, 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 Dallas, blank, blank, death, you say, I don't know what you're talking about, right? But if I said blank, blank, 1962, Dallas, death, JFK, you'd know what I'm talking about, right? You're thinking about the JFK assassination, right? So you kind of put those things together and, and have an understanding. But we have that same thing in all kinds of phraseology points. And especially in this point, when we talk about Nasara, it's national economics, um, stabilization, and I always do this wrong, and recovery act, or Re a reformation act, excuse me. Uh, and so when we look at that, that thing, there's a concepts, uh, two different concepts out there. <clears throat> One is the great awakening versus the great reset. So first thing I wanna talk a little bit about the great reset. That is the opposite of Nasara. This is done by uh, the elitists, we're gonna put it that way, these rich elitists that have been always planning this kind of circumstance where they wanna lead people down into communism, okay? What they, they will say to you is that you will be happy without any stuff. And you always ask this question, you know, like, well, we're gonna take away the stuff. This is the idea of communism, socialism. They're gonna take away the stuff and you'll be happy without it. But here's the, here's the question. And this is one of the things you gotta ask yourself, who owns the stuff? Someone's gotta own it. And the reality is that they, want, they would want big corporations deciding things for the people along with the government. And then media and Hollywood freaks, you know, would, would propagate, the, would push out the propaganda in that area. And then it gets people convinced that this is what they would do. And so everything you own, you know, guess what? Has, has no meaning in their book and you will be happy with that. And that's, that's the great reset stuff. By the way, that's already dead. I mean, you know, the, Donald Trump has already fixed some of that stuff. I know you're experiencing that in 2021 with Biden, okay, and his faux administration. That is already, you know, kind of, we're, we're seeing some of the vestiges of that, okay? The great reset is dead. Now the problem we have when we talk in some circles, we have this thing called great awakening. And so when we think about great awakening, that is the people waking up to the craziness of the elitists. The elitists are out there trying to push an agenda, trying to shove it down your throat. And when you realize, wait, in the background, it doesn't sense right. I was talking to a woman in Michigan. We were talking about this exact same thing. And she said, yeah, I mean, people think I've got three heads on myself. And, and that's what she went through that great awakening. <coughs> and my great awakening was frankly several different things. The JFK event, the 9-11 events, and you know, I don't want to get into those right now because I've done those on other videos. But those kinds of ideas have helped me wake up to what is reality. But that's actually so biblical, it's not even funny. You know, really, I always say to people, you know, when we think about biblical issues, in the Bible, 
It's about waking up to the lies of the enemy. I always like to say it like this, and I'm just kind of kind of um, step back for for a second. It's like you're sitting around with with Satan, and he says there's this little thing off in the distance. You don't really know it, so you kind of creep up and you wonder and you think that that's what you need to spend all of your effort and time and you pick it up and you go oh that's just gross you know you put it away and then you get back away from it and a little time goes on and there's another glinting thing in the distance and just like my little two dogs you know they'll creep up to it and pick it up and it's like uh that's your poo okay and and You know, but they eat it, and that's kind of the thing that the dog does. And yet, do you understand, that's the lie point that they want to push out at you. They make it seem so interesting. But that's the great reset kind of mentality. That's the whole point of this. And you need to wake up to truth, okay? The Bible says in in, uh, Romans 10.10, or Romans 10.10, Romans, uh, John 10.10 as well, it says the same basic kind of points is that, you know, uh, the the idea is that truth is something that you need is valuable. It also repeats this in uh, 2 Thessalonians 2, 2 through 11, but verse 11 and 12 actually gets really strongly in there. You see, the lie is so hard to deal with because if you don't understand, if you don't know anything about truth, you'll just gravitate toward it. That's what it's basically saying. But truth shoves it away and trumps it, okay? To use a little terminology there in that way. But that's what we're, uh, that's what we're all supposed to do. We need to be waking up to truth around us, okay? And it's not just Scott's truth. It's the reality of truth. And so as you're digging out, the Great Awakening is the awesome thing, and it's happening day by day. Whereas the Great Reset is already dead, but the people that are pushing this message, the propaganda, don't want you to understand that. So if you like what we're talking about, I appreciate that. We're going to answer a whole bunch of questions just to kind of leave you with one of my books. It's called Nasara and the Mark of the Beast. You can go on drscottyoung.com and you can check that book out. It will help you give you a little bit of information about Nasara. And there's already books in the work in my head. So I need to work on some more, some of of that stuff too. So if you like what we talked about, leave comments and subscribe. Thank you so much.